Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to put decimals into expanded form, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now when I say expanded form, what we're going to do is expand these numbers out to show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 75 hundredths. Now there's a place value chart at the top of your screen. I'm going to place that number in the chart. That way we can really break it down and see uh, what the value of each digit is going to be. In the case of number one, we start with a zero. So this is showing us that we don't have a whole number. So zero would go in our whole number um, portion of the place value chart. Then we have our decimal. Now the tenths place, and we have a seven. Then we have a five, which is sitting in the hundredths place. So we can clearly see that we have seven tenths and five hundredths. So when we put this in expanded form, there are two options. We can use decimals or we can use fractions. They are equivalent to each other. Um, so it doesn't really matter, but it's good to know both. So I will do both here. I'll start with decimals. And we will start with the greatest valued digit, which is going to be that seven. So the digit furthest to the left. And that seven is worth seven tenths. Plus that five has a value or is worth five hundredths. And that's how you would write number one in expanded form using decimals. A common mistake would be to write seven tenths plus five tenths. But that five, you can't have two digits sitting in the same place. That five is in the hundredths place. So we need this placeholder zero to push that five over to the hundredths. Now as far as fractions go, we would write seven tenths plus five hundredths. These are equivalent right here. One's in decimal form, one's in fractional form, and these are equivalent. So these are the exact same thing. One is obviously in decimal form and one is in fractional form. So on to number two, where we have 75 thousandths. Now it looks very similar to number one, but the seven is in a different place and the five is in a different place. So we do not have a whole number. We have a zero in the tenths and our seven is in the hundredths place this time. So our decimal is going to be seven hundredths. Notice we had to use that zero to push the seven to the hundredths place, plus five thousandths. So we need two zeros to push the five over to the thousandths place, a five in the, or a zero in the tenths and a zero in the hundredths. Fractional form, well, seven hundredths plus five thousandths. All right, on to number three and four where we're going to have a whole number um, and a decimal. So for number three, we have 15 and four tenths. So let's um, put the whole number in expanded form first. So start with the greatest valued digit, the digit furthest to the left, and that happens to be this one. So what is the value of that one? Well, it has a value of 10. Plus, this five in the ones place has a value of five, plus four tenths here. So I'll write it in decimal form first. So we have the one, the five, and the four included, and we showed the value of each. So fractional form, the whole numbers are going to stay the exact same. The decimal, however, is going to be four tenths. On to number four, we have three and 207 thousandths. So we start with the three here, which has a value of three because it's in the ones place. So three plus the value of this two, which is two tenths. Now the hundredths place, we have a zero, so we do not need to include that in our expanded form. This seven is in the thousandths, so plus and we need two zeros, I'll squeeze in here, seven thousandths there. 
Uh, a common mistake for number four would be three plus two tenths and then writing the seven in the hundredths place. You need to be very careful with placeholder zeros and what place the numbers are sitting in. So that seven has to be in the thousandths. So this would be incorrect. All right, and as far as fractional, the whole number, fraction, decimal, it doesn't matter. Whole numbers are whole numbers. So leave it as is there, plus two tenths. And we end with seven thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you put decimals into expanded form. Show the value of each digit. You can use decimals or fractions. Now, if you want more help as far as um, either putting um, decimals in expanded form using decimals or putting decimals in expanded form using fractions, I have more examples of each of those. I drop those links down in the description. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.